with another DJ Virtue Bay Review. Well, I've just completed my first grass cutting lawn work bullshit workout of the year. That's right. And that means it's time for a reward beer That because it's not the kind of, you know, sort of workout I like, but I do like the end result, which is beer, just like with my normal workout. So where am I going to go to find some hops to pour down my neck? I'm going to go to Lagunitas Brewing Company out of Petaluma, California, U.S. of A. Yay, yay. And I'm going to have their Equinox Pale Oat Ale. Now, this is an American Pale Ale or American Strong Ale, ale whatever the hell you want to call it. It's a rotating or limited serving. Now, this beer was first brewed in 1995, and at that time it was 6.5% ABV. However, today it's clocking in at 8.0% ABV and 50 IBUs. I guess they decided to boost this bad boy up a point and a half because the times have changed and people are drinking bigger beers now. So, in this beer for hops, they're using Equinox and Simcoe. Equinox, as the name would say, I suppose, you know, and suggest for moths they're using oats, as the name would suggest, and others. I guess that's really all we need to know about this beer, except how the hell it tastes. And it's a Lagunitas beer. I haven't been disappointed or let down by Lagunitas yet, and I don't expect that to happen today. But you know what? We never know. Let's get the top popped on this, get it this fresh bad boy in the glass, and tell you what's up with the Equinox Pale Oat Ale. Boom. Nice hiss off the top. Tons of cannon smoke. Man, I can already smell the hops blasting off the top of this, man, like grapefruit train. Yeah, look at that. Lovely, clear, golden amber stream. Look at that. Lagunitas beers, I think, are just gorgeous. So, it's like a golden amber sun sunset, kind of like you'd see on the East Coast in the fall, or maybe when I used to live in Hawaii, and, you know, I'd be, you know, on Maui, chilling on the beach, or maybe in Oahu, and this is the kind of sunset you would see. Look at that gorgeous just golden amber copper color we got a solid two finger head of super tightly packed bubbles when i swirl it i can just see some alcohol legs at the top of this since i decided to pour this so deep and i know it we're going to get alcohol i mean sorry glass lacing on this this is a lot we this beer they never let me down with glass lacing or anything like that so let's see what's up in the aroma department wow big big blast of grapefruit zest pine Dank tone in the background. Getting a big pineapple note. All this, like, really juicy pineapple. A bit of malt sweetness, but not huge. Kind of like caramel malt sweetness. Lots of citrus in here. A little bit of mango, but I'm getting tangerine, orange, big grapefruit coming from the Simcoe, I assume. A little bit of pine and, like, some floral notes. Really juicy, tropical, fruity up in your grill smelling hoppy beer. Not a surprise, that's what Lagunita does. And in the background, there's sort of a mild, bready, caramelly sweetness. I'm liking it, no alcohol in the aroma. Let's dive in and see what's up with the taste. Cheers. Yum. Mm. Look at that glass lacing, guys. Just like I thought. Wow. Right up front, you get a blast of grapefruit and then tangerine. After that, you get a little bit of mango and there's a dank tone in there. Real tropical fruity and grapefruit and tangerine citrusy flavor in this. Really, really nice medium full mouthfeel from the oats. Very coating. That coating like leaves the sweetness in your mouth at the sides of your tongue, but there's enough bitterness to counterbalance that. Absolutely no alcohol in the taste. It's a hop forward beer, but it's a little more balanced than some of the Lagunitas offerings. But man, the mouthfeel is very impressive on this beer. 8% is totally hidden. And as I drink it a little more, from the middle tongue to the back, you get a bit of dankness in there. Like piney herbal hop dankness. Super smooth, super easy to drink. The carbonation spot on. This is about, I'd say probably... I don't know, like about 50 degrees right now, man. This is drinking tasty. Wow. Well, this would be a great beer to have in six packs. I hope if they would ever do this in six packs that they don't change it like they did the uh, night nighttime 
IPA because that beer, like, they kind of dumbed down when they made it in the six packs. They took it from, like, 8 point something or 8% down into the sevens. And that beer's changed a little bit. It's a little bit thinner. But anyways, that's another beer. This one, I'm just digressing. You're probably not surprised. Anyway, this one, man, is all about the grapefruit and tropical fruits. Dank this in the middle to the back end. Totally hidden alcohol. And a lovely, lovely coating mouthfeel that leaves the sweetness after the bitterness kind of washes away. I guess because it's so coating. Like, it leaves those residual sugars, man. Really tasty beer. So, you can hear I am digging this beer. Now it's time for me to grade it. Now, Rape Beer gives it a 93. Beer Advocate gives it an 89. So, we got an A minus to a B plus. I really like this beer. I'm going to give it an A. I'm going 94. I think it's really well made. It was cheap as dirt. It was $5.99 for a bomber. Man, a really top quality beer. Well brewed, super tasty. I'm going to handle this bad boy by myself with no problem. It's nice and fresh. I know that because it's it's got like a Best Buy date on the neck and say it's good till day 342 of this year. So this is super fresh at time of recording, but it's juicy. It's got sweetness, lovely mouthfeel, and totally hidden alcohol. What more do you want? So... Have you had this beer? If you had, let me know what you think of it because I don't know everything and I like to quit pro quo, also known as the back and forth. I also really like it when you think locally, drink locally, and support the craft beer movement. I'm supporting Lagunitas today because no brewer brings the value like Lagunitas does, and this is just another example of them bringing the value. So, if you could, please remember to rate, comment, and if you're not already subbed up, please subscribe and smash that like button. So, to the next DJ Brew Tube, thanks man to each and every one of you for watching. <sighs> And now I'm going to kick back. I'm going to go up and have me a little fried rice and finish off this Equinox Pale Ale. And you know what's coming for you now? I got a bunch of love. And, and what is it? That's right. A big pizza!